This video explains the congenital heart condition, atrial septal defect, and how it is treated with open heart surgery. You may wish to view our video on normal heart function before viewing this. Blood from the body returns to the part of the heart called the right atrium. Blood then flows to the right ventricle from where it is pumped to the lungs via the pulmonary artery. Blood from the lungs returns to the part of the heart called the left atrium from where it flows to the left ventricle, which is the part of the heart that pumps blood to the body via the aorta. The right atrium and left atrium are divided by the atrial septum. A hole in the atrial septum is called an atrial septal defect, or ASD. When an ASD is present, some of the blood that should flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle passes through the ASD to the right atrium and to the right ventricle, pulmonary artery and lungs. This means that more blood flows through the right side of the heart to the lungs than flows through the left side of the heart to the body. This extra blood can cause the right side of the heart to enlarge. The impact of an ASD largely depends on its size. At one end of the spectrum, a large ASD results in a large amount of extra blood flow through the right side of the heart to the lungs and may cause problems such as breathlessness and abnormal heart rhythms. If larger ASDs are left untreated over a long period of time, the extra blood flow can cause permanent damage to the right side of the heart and the arteries of the lungs. At the other end of the spectrum, when an ASD is small, there may only be a very small amount of extra blood flow through the right side of the heart and lungs, such that the right side of the heart does not become enlarged. These smaller ASDs often require no treatment, but may require observation over time. An atrial septal defect can be closed in one of two ways, either with open heart surgery or in a keyhole procedure. Many ASDs are suitable for treatment via the keyhole procedure, but some require open heart surgery. Here we explain the open heart surgery technique, but we have a separate video explaining the keyhole procedure. Surgery involves either directly stitching up the hole or sewing in a patch of material over the hole, preventing blood flowing through it and allowing the enlarged heart to reduce in size. Once an ASD has been closed, the right side of the heart becomes smaller. It may return to a completely normal size, but doesn't always, especially if a larger hole is not closed until later in life. 